Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Glenn Patterson from New York. Hi Glenn, how are you doing? I am doing well. Um, hi to your audience, thank you. Thank you for being here. So Glenn is the co-founder of Work School and he has a mission to help people build their career and find their dream job. So Glenn, in terms of finding a dream job, we all know that the first thing recruiters do when they get a resume, they automatically go to the LinkedIn profile of that candidate to find out more about who this person is, their personal brand, their connection, their content. So in terms of LinkedIn profile, what tips do you have for job seekers or international students who are new to the country and they don't know how to make their LinkedIn profile shine from others? That's a very, very good point, especially in today's world where we're doing a lot of um, this interacting uh, online, remotely. Yes. So I would probably start with, make sure you have a professional picture. Yes. I think it is a unique thing that a lot of people, especially international students or minorities, they don't want to put a picture because they are afraid that, um, you know, some reason the picture might not look too good or something, or they might, no, you have to put 95% of people connect with you if you have a picture up. Yes. But you want to make sure you put up a professional picture. Yeah. Second thing I would say to you, make sure that your resume is on your LinkedIn mm -hmm. profile. Put together a nice resume and make sure you upload that resume on your LinkedIn profile. Yeah. Um, third, in, again, in my opinion, make sure what you're asking for is on your profile. LinkedIn has done a wonderful job in terms of putting little spaces like you're open for work or mm -hmm. You're looking for a, a mentor or something mm -hmm. to indicate to someone what you're looking for. And I would say last but certainly not least, if you have worked on any projects in school, uh, again, on LinkedIn, there are a lot of ways you can actually, I said four things that I would say you should think about, four things. Mm -hmm. Again, one, a professional picture. Two, your resume. Three, make sure that you're asking for something they can see you're open for work or you're looking for a mentor you're looking to network mm -hmm. and four if you have done projects in school yeah put them on your linkedin profile so we can see oh this person is good at these things yeah especially i think linkedin started using the feature section where you can put as you've mentioned you know the accomplishment project or things you've done exactly but yeah, in that also kind of a follow up in terms of content creation, because I really enjoy your content that you produce. And I believe you use Canva, you put all those uh, pictures and features. So in terms of content creation, like where can people start if they don't have any idea, especially on LinkedIn, you know, trying to find who you are, what's your values, your personal brand. So in terms of content creation, what tips you have? So there are two things that you should look for in, 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 um, in deciding whether or not you want to post content or you want to follow someone's content. So think about that. So if it's primarily um, you want to brand yourself and you're thinking about brand yourself um, as, a, as a student, that, that sometimes can be tricky as to what content you put out there mm -hmm. um, versus somebody who's an entrepreneur uh, who's no content. So if you're a student, um, try to try to look for relevant um, content, and I would probably start with Canva. I, I, I know a, a lot of people like to use Adobe, yeah. but if you're time sensitive, Canva is a great place to start. Yes. Adobe is, a, is 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 more. Oh, I, I'm I'm a digital artist, and I want to show you that I can be a digital artist, and that's great because you learn a lot from using Adobe. I used to use Adobe too. But it's, it's so time consuming using Adobe. So, Canva is a great place to yeah. start to get you know, some content um, in the market, um, to your user. But I would, I, would, I would just say focus on pretty relevant information that you want people to know about you. Um, for example, if you're going to become a doctor um, or you want to become an artist, Try to focus your content in those areas. 
uh, basically, and try to provide content that helps your potential target artists. Yeah. Provide some value to them, uh, basically. On the other end, if you're just following content, which is a great way to start, by the way, again, follow content that you want to basically be relevant to you. Yeah. Yeah, but it's very important to be important to your industry or if you're trying to find a job in marketing or in sales, follow people who produce content in sales or marketing and you know make comments, share ideas. That's how you'll be remembered and that's how your content will start gradually and grow from there. So exactly, that- exactly, exactly. So I think I think what is um, in today's world, a lot of a lot of people think that it's great to have a lot of likes and all those things. But that comes over time. Yes. You, you, you need to be active, like follow someone. Like if you're in marketing, follow the, the company that you want to um, yeah. potentially work for, the industry that you want to work in, and primarily make comments, relevant comments, like, share, and that way you get started. And then you can potentially start making your own content. Yeah, those are great tips, Glenn. I really enjoyed it. And for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Glenn a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, share them and put your comment if you have any. So tune in tomorrow for another great question with Glenn.